good morning brothers and sisters i bring good wishes and greetings to you all from india can we all accept that thank you first of all i would like to thank the lord almighty for giving me this privilege for keeping me and all of us safe and sound without sickness and i also would like to thank the leaders of the church and the organizers for considering my name to deliver god's message this morning what a privilege we all have to worship freely in this country i sincerely thank the lord once again the topic for today's meditation is the graces of his character i don't know how many of us clearly understand what is the characteristics of god if i ask you who is god and what are his characters we will have several answers some may say that god is kind god is love god is gracious god is long suffering slow to anger god is omnipotent omni present omniscient and so on and so forth we cannot clearly state that this is his character he is everything for us let us read the scripture once again john chapter 1 verse 51 he said unto him verily verily i say unto you hereafter ye shall see heaven open and the angels of god ascending and descending upon the son of man if we meditate upon this text we understand one particular character of the lord once jesus decided to go to galilee the next day he came across philip and he said that follow me philip never had any questions and he simply followed him and when he when he went away from jesus he found nathanael standing under a fig tree and he said that we found jesus about whom moses and all the other prophets have written in the scriptures jesus the son of joseph from nazareth but nathaniel had a spontaneous question to ask he said that is there anything good come out of nazareth because nazareth was a small town and he felt that nothing can come good from nazareth and philip's answer was also spontaneous he didn't say anything he said come and see nathaniel also followed him and when he came near jesus christ jesus looked at him and said that here comes an israelite who doesn't have any guile a deceit nathaniel was astonished and he said that how do you know that i am one of that and jesus christ said i know the when you are standing under the fig tree even and nathaniel was so much astonished again and said that thou art the lord and thou art the god jesus christ answered and said to him just because i told you that i saw you under the fig tree do you believe me you follow me and you will see greater things than this and nathaniel also became a disciple we came to understand from this we understand that god is all knowing he knows everything he knows us even before we could be born he knows our mind he knows our thoughts he knows our everything every action 
the teachings of jesus are very important and we as christians should follow all his teachings more than his teachings his lifestyle was very very important he lived an exemplary life all throughout when he was on the earth few more characteristics of god i would like to uh, analyze on that when we read mark chapter 10 verse 13 to 16 we read that jesus on his on his ministry people brought little children to jesus but the in in, in the jews especially they never liked the children to come amongst the uh, older ones when they are discussing something and when they, when they are dealing with something they don't encourage little children to come to them it's not, they are not like all of us we love little children similarly when uh, uh, people brought the little children to jesus the disciples rebuked them they stopped them uh, from coming near jesus but jesus told the disciples let the little children come unto me for such is the kingdom of god those days uh, uh, people uh, thought that jesus will touch the little children bless them or play with them but the disciples never thought so jesus is always kind and warm hearted there are a few more wonderful characteristics of jesus once jesus was away from the city he didn't meet lazarus mary and martha for some time during the days of his ministry when he did not come and see them there was some untoward incident happened lazarus one of his closest friends died when he came to understand this news he was very sad and the bible says that he even wept when we talk a specific characteristics of jesus in this he is empathetic we all know that empathetic means experience a person's feelings from that person's point of view in other words rejoice with whom who rejoices mourn with whom uh, sorry mourn with those who mourn we need to get into somebody else's shoes and think in their point of view we need to participate in their joy and their sorrows there are so many incommunicable and communicable attributes or characteristics of god acts chapter 17 verse 24 and 25 states that god made this world and everything in it being the god of heaven and earth he does not live in temples mosque or any shrines which man has made and he doesn't need anything from us because he gives everything including the life which is the greatest of all gifts i am a standing example of all the things we i i personally have experienced almost death and i am alive here because of his grace when he made this world he did not consult anybody he made this world with his own wisdom that means he is independent the main characteristics of god is in this is he is independent he need not to consult anybody he created this world and all the things in it and it is as human beings he doesn't expect anything from us except 
if we if we praise god by singing and prayers that brings really joy to him god is unchanging and he is eternal god is the same yesterday today tomorrow and forever psalms 102 verse 25 and 27 says though the heaven and earth may fall and everything in them will perish but god will remain the same god has no beginning and no end he sees all events in time and acts in time he is an eternal god and an everlasting god psalms 90 verse 2 says before the mountains were brought forth or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world even from everlasting to everlasting thou art god we know that god is omnipotent he knows he he is all powerful he can do anything he need not to consult with anybody he has created us he is sustaining us and he will redeem us and the next one is god is omnipresent god is unlimited and is infinite with respect to time and space god does not have a specific shape or size or specific dimensions but is present everywhere and acts differently in different places psalms 139 verse 7 to 10 the psalmist says where shall i flee from thy presence where shall i go from thy spirit when i ascend up into heaven the word there when i make my bed in hell the word there if i fly to the uttermost part of the sea even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me the lord is present everywhere he is omnipresent he is present here in this delegation and he is present with our family he is present in the whole world out of all characters of jesus one character stands prominent for me the humility he showed when he was on this earth he was so simple and he was easily reachable to people he loved all of us he healed the sick he did so many miracles but with simplicity and humility the humbleness of christ we see in the lord's supper before crucifixion he had a dinner with all the disciples when they were having jesus christ got up and he washed all the feet of the disciples and he wiped with his own towel what else we need to understand his humility we read this one in john 13 4 to 5 we see here that he never had any pride he never had a feeling that he is a god who created all of us jesus always set an example for us it is our duty to follow his teachings i would like to uh, tell a story that how we can be like some of his characters at least there was a boy he wanted his son to take him to a circus which was going on in the city they had they are very poor family they had very little dollars 
maybe $20. And the father took him and they were standing in line. And before he, they could go in, into the counter, he saw some of the uh, children and, and elderly people standing there. There were 10 of them, eight children and two adults. They were all talking about uh, the circus because uh, probably they, th th that's the first time they are uh, going to the circus. When they reached the counter, they, the father asked, what is the uh, price of the ticket? The lady in the counter said that this is the amount. And uh, the mother and father started counting uh, the dollars. They had uh, little less than whatever is required. So the sadness came into the, in, in, in the face. Uh, this father and son, they were noticing that. The father decided we will all go back because we don't have enough money to go to the circus. So when they were about to turn, the boy's father put his hand into his pocket and dropped a $20 note down. And he took it in his hand and told the other man, is this your money? Have you dropped this? The man said that, uh, uh, no, I have not. The boy's father said that, no, it is not my money. You can have this. But the other person understand the feeling of this boy's father and held his hand and he was thanking him by looking into his eyes. Finally, the eight plus two, ten people went into the circus, but this boy's father and the boy never had money to go into the circus. They went back. On the way home, the boy was irritated. Dad, we had money. Why did you give them? The father told him, did you see the sadness in their face when they had less money? The boy said, yes. By sacrificing $20, if he can give so much happiness to all those people, that's the best help one can do. The boy felt so nice. And he was in all price for his dad. It's a simple story, but in our day-to-day -day life, we can follow, we can reflect Jesus' character. This is one of his character. He was always helping people. <coughs> we are all sinners. And we are very far apart from Christ. If we walk closer to the Lord, we can feel the glory of God shining on each one of us. Sister White clearly says in Lift Him Up, page 239, paragraph 2, God has given us a perfect standard of character which we are to keep before us. Through the strength that Christ can impart, we may keep the law of God. We should be obedient children, whatever difficulty we may have to encounter. We must not expect to enter heaven without conflict and trial. But we have the assurance that if we will not consult our own pleasure, but the will of God, we shall not be left to fight the battle alone. There is great work to be done in the world, and every one of us should let his light shine upon the pathway of others. What an assurance God gives through Sister White. If we would humble ourselves, this is uh, Testimonies, Volume 9, page 189, Sister White says that if we would humble ourselves before God and be kind and courteous and tender-hearted and pitiful, there would be 100 conversions to the truth where now we have one. I think it's a very simple message. If we reflect God's or Jesus' character in us, definitely we will have more people who will follow Christ Jesus. That's my prayer this morning. Thank you.